Hello everyone and welcome to another Doodle World video and today we got new skins. Yes, I am a day late. It is 8.20. The skins came out 8.19, a new update. So it's mainly just skins and some bug fixes and buffs or debuffs. So I'm going to read them off. But before we get going, I am Gore Punk here at the Gorius Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me on my Twitter at Gorius Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Doodle World update video. But yes, Let's check out what these new skins are that were added to Doodle World. Okay, so now let's look at these skins. I added them in my recorder so we can look at them up close. So it looks like the the Horde Beast line got a cool Ani. I think it is what they're calling it skin. It's actually really cool. I really want that. Once again, we'll also check out the gen shop after this. Looks like Joe Blocks finally got his own CC skin. I have not decided mine yet. I'm going to pick out three doodles and probably do a vote on the three doodles and then I want to make my own skin. I don't want to hire no one. Even if my skin was bad looking, I want to make sure I do it myself. Okay, we got another um, fun suite. The, here's that muttish one. And go my, I really want this skin. So I'm probably going to hunt for this skin. We got like the secret agent glumish kind of looking skin. We got the Draco thread stitch kind of skin. That's actually pretty cool looking. I'm always forgetting these guys' names, but what of them? We got the Xenorus skin. The Snowbat skin's really cool. I like the Snowbat one though. The evolution of it's not bad, but I think Snowbat one looks a lot cooler. Probably because it doesn't look smiley. Oh, we got like a sushi tadpole one. Here's another Xenorus. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, Static he got like a farming chicken one. That's actually not bad. I'm liking this uh, butterfly looking one. That's pretty cool. Stabby stabby. Finally, Pupski has another skin. I really want the Aurora Pupski skin with a misprint. Oh, Gekku has, I don't know what to call it. It looks like slimy space, but it's actually really cool. I really want that skin now. Rough Fire has a really cool like Egyptian skin. We have like a Mega Man looking style black and white skin. And Kronos has a TV skin. This is actually pretty cool. It, the first thing I thought of was retro from the anime movie Dead Leaves because his head is a TV. See what's actually added in the gem shop for this week. So usually the top four to me are probably the main things, but there is a whole list. So we got it's Shice, Shice, Sha Ice with Winter General skin, 3K gems. Then Misprint Kronos with TV skin is 8K gems. That's a lot of gems, but you do get a Kronos and it's misprint. Sadly, it could be any star. If it was actually a set star, like five star, it would say five star. If it doesn't say the star, you could get a one star. You can get a two star. I bought two of the same thing before, like the cheapest thing, and they came out different stars, so. But yeah, the misprint TV head's pretty cool. So here's a hidden tray, rough fire with tomb guardian skin. Um, 2,500 gems. Muttish with mutant skin. So this is the skin I really want. It's 2k gems, but I think I'm gonna hunt for it. I like hunting. Yes, people are like, it's a simulator, you're just running in a circle. I've been hunting stuff like that since the late 90s. Because Pokemon. Think about it, Pokemon's old. Okay, we got a hidden tray Xenorus with outlaw skin for 4k gems. We got the Bun Sword with the stylish skin um, for 1500. We got the Hidden Trait Female Glumish with Fashionable Skin. See, it's fashionable. For me, it reminded me of like a British secret agent. And then I was right, Ani, Ana, Ani Shaldo is 1500. So I wouldn't mind buying, buying the skin since you can't actually catch him yet. So you could spend tons of gems and roll that and not get it, or you can just buy it here for right now. So if I did have the gems, I might get them through the week. I'll probably buy this skin. But that's what's actually added um, in the gem shop for this week. 
Let's see if there's any buffs, debuffs, or any bug fix since this update. So let me go to their Discord. Okay, so it looks like a lot of um, bug fixes and balance changes. So new skins, new moves, hit and run, quick thinking, new trait, con contagion. I can't say that word right. You know, like if you get affected, contagion, order. Okay, bug fixes. Fix heal jelly and other items prosian despite being removed by opponent's move. Possession now procs if it copies a trait that activates on sendout. Fix rest plus wake up cure jelly interaction. Balance changes. Type matchup changes. Be beast neutral mind. Beast N V E metal. Mind S E crystal super effective. Light. NVE light. Fireball change. Accuracy 85, now 100. Power 110, now 85. Chaotic Bolt was 85, now 75. Chocolate Rain no longer guarantees a status cure for food types at the end of each turn 100%, now down to 50%. Vulnerable now cures itself when you switch out. Sharp Fangs buffed to 20% chance to cause vulnerable instead of 10%. Collider Skunk stat buff. HP 80, attack 75, defense 85, um, ma magical attack 80, and magical defense 100, speed 70. Grufflin attack, stat lord 95 to 90. Reasonably, it gets hit and run, the new move, and it states stats are kind of high already. Aurora flash, now causes confusion instead of sleep. Airstrike, accuracy 90, now 100. Royal Ice, 10 uses, now 5 uses. Antenna Flight now learns Web Ball, Airstrike earlier, learns them before the level cap. Savage Trait reworked, attacks that aren't the same type of this dude will do 50% more damage but are 25% less accurate. Move Pull updates, Clyde Sun gets Goo Blast at 32, Thornet gets Piercing Poke at 33, Mothra gets Shata at 33, Antenna Flight gets Quick Thinking at 33. Thornet, Atena Flight, Meta Litra, Gruffin, Frigale, Volta 2, all learn hit and run before the level cap. The new move hit and run. So I'm guessing you punch him and you switch it out. Trait updates Nox Vol's Poison Absorb Contagion. Okay, now we're after the update, so any bug fixes since then, I'm gonna read off. Oops, fix hit and run description not showing up. Fix obscured ghost xenerus not being discontinue. Obscured ghost? Ain't that the guy that comes to my streams? If it is, that's really cool. I'm seeing your name on here. Fix shop glumish not being guaranteed female. What? Okay, another one. Fix hit and run working even if it didn't do damage. Mask Omedi HP has been buff from 90 to 95. Nice. Fireball uses has been buff 5 to 10. Nice. So that's all that was actually really added. Also in the Discord they have dev announcements now. So like we're getting our first PvP item, Cursed Cloak, disables the use of support moves, but boosts magical defense by 50%. First PvP item, which says I don't know when it will be it will be out with so Social Park release. And if you don't know what Social Park is, can't wait for that. But that's what was actually added in the skin update and bug fixes, but yes. Yes, I am Gore Punk. You're at the Goryous Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me on my Twitter at Goryous Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this Doodle World skin up update for 8 19 2022. Yes, it is a day later, but I'm reading off the date of the update. So, 8 19 2022. But definitely try to get these new skins. Tell me what, what is your favorite new skin. But peace out, everyone. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. And see you later.